Welcome to Redbeard Outdoors. My wife and I travel all over the country with our Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab and our 40 foot featherlight horse trailer with living quarters. We travel with our various number of Irish setters and our three horses Biscuit, Melody, and Tara. <laughs> Point! Hey guys, what is up? It's been a while since I posted a video. I've been super busy. And as you can see, I got new glasses. Uh, the older I get, the more I can't see. So, um, just had a birthday the other day and had to get me some new glasses. So, um, you're gonna see these in the videos a lot more. So, um, we've also been prepping for a very big trip. We're gonna be in this horse trailer. We're practically gonna be living in it for about two months. So, we have been doing a ton of work to get ready for this trip. And um, I'm just gonna, I'll kind of walk you through some of the stuff we've been up to so first thing is i installed a mounting arm right here the computer monitor mounts right here onto this and uh, i'm going to be able to work right here while i'm on the road so that'll be really nice i recently set up a mobile data internet plan in this horse trailer so i have internet on the road i have 200 gigabytes of mobile data that I can use on the road. It's routed through this Pepwave router right here. Also have a backup battery pack right here. So, um, tested that out and it runs for about six hours. It'll run the uh, router for about six hours. So it's kind of nice because it also gives you Wi-Fi while you're driving down the road. So um, you can connect to it from up in the truck, which is awesome. Uh, that's my computer monitor. We're getting ready to travel with it. So I just throw it up here on the bed where it's safe uh, I put a mounting arm on this TV mount too So I'm gonna be able to swing that out both directions towards the bed and towards the living area And we're gonna be able to watch TV. We have a fire stick hooked up to it. That's connected to the internet and uh, That TV also has a built-in DVD player. All right, so that's what's been going on in here. Let's uh, check out the outside Install a couple more of these D rings right here. That way we can stake the dogs out on it pretty quickly um, when we're at a field trial. So far we got uh, six of them on the sides right here. Um, we filled up our water and put bleach in it and we drained all the bleach out uh, a few times. We had to uh, really clean the tank up so that's kind of a sanitation of your water tank. So yeah, we bleached our, our water tank and bleached our water lines to clean that up. Um, the water heater's back here. Turns out we have a shutoff valve missing on our water heater. So that's another project for another day that I'm going to have to get installed to prevent water from coming in the hot water side of the tank. So I um, need to put a shutoff valve on that. Uh, back here is our door for our Dometic propane refrigerator and uh, Got in there and turns out we have a bunch of ants in our trailer from keeping it in storage. So uh, We've been working on uh, getting the ants out of the trailer. So that's that's fun, but I also worked on a um, Pilot burner for the fridge in here and clean that all up to get the fridge running a lot better so, um, hopefully that works a little bit better. If not, I may need to buy a new burner because it tends to go out when we're driving down the road and that's when we need propane the most, when we're driving down the road and um, we're trying to keep everything cool in our refrigerator. Uh, moving on into here, uh, calling this part the garage, we turned two stalls 
into the garage and uh, we loaded up a lot of stuff for uh, travel and for living, you know, kind of off grid for two months. Uh, we're going to be living uh, off a generator for the most part. So, um, trying to make sure we have everything. This guy right here is a secondary antenna, it's a telescoping um, antenna that can go up to like 25 feet and you point it at a cell tower. So that's going to help me with my internet plan out in the middle of nowhere, which is where we are most of the time. So, got our grill and my bicycle in there. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff in there. And uh, we left two stalls for two horses. We're bringing two horses. We sold Biscuit, for those of you who follow the channel, we sold our black horse uh, to a friend and so now we're down to two horses which isn't the best for us but it's definitely like it's just better like it's just so much less work but um as far as the riding power we need one day we might have to get a new horse but for now um, we're gonna see if we can get by with just two up top right here is the junction box for the mobile router and over here is the antenna that's mounted on the roof permanently and that antenna is a huge um, help to getting cellular signal and it also has like a 200 foot Wi-Fi output range it seems like I kind of tested it out and got about 200 feet away and still had Wi-Fi so that antenna is pretty awesome. Um, on the truck, uh, checked all the PSI on the tires, checked all the torque on the lug nuts, did the exact same thing for the trailer, torqued all those down. This one was actually loose. Every time we go on a big travel trip, I like to check the torque of all the lug nuts, make sure everything is actually locked down. So um, those were a little bit loose, but I tightened all those down for our travel so um got brand new tail lights brand new marker lights brand new amber lights in the front and um this tail light uh burned out pretty good so we definitely got that uh fixed before we travel because um we've been traveling without a a tail light in there so and uh oh our uh, garage slash dog area uh, we have some lights in there that I ended up rewiring and fixing. And then our generator, I did a ton of maintenance to it. Uh, changed the oil, cleaned the air filter, yada, yada, yada. We're bringing oil and stuff with us so we can do maybe one change while we're out there. Um, so just want to let you guys know that I've been very happy with this generator. Um, I did a review on it quite a while ago. I'll leave a link up here in the corner of the screen, but uh, this thing is solid. Uh, it works very well, it runs our air conditioner, and I'm pretty happy with uh, its performance. So just did a little, little maintenance on it to get it ready for this trip. Because uh, like I said, we're going to be mostly getting power from that generator. So for two, we're going to change it about the one month mark, we're going to change the oil and get it swapped out so that was the old TV mount right there um, it was like a sliding tray that came out and I replaced it with that arm so uh, man there's so much packing to do when it comes to going on a huge trip like this we've been spending the past two three weeks getting ready for this thing so um, The missus, she also bought a brand new van. Uh, we got rid of the old white Chevy and got a Dodge Ram Promaster. Uh, you guys will see that in upcoming videos. I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick little, maybe walk around on it in one of my upcoming videos. But she has it decked out with dog crates and uh, she's really happy with it it's a lot smaller it's a four cylinder and it gets great gas mileage like 28 miles to the gallon so 
she's gonna be driving that up there I'm gonna be driving the trailer in the truck I'll kind of do a vlog for you guys in the next episode so stay tuned enjoy our our next video which is the travel vlog and I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode we're going to Nebraska for summer camp to do a lot of dog training so stay tuned make sure you like this video make sure to subscribe if you're new here I'll see you guys later remember get outdoors